Hey, 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 everybody, welcome back to Quinsan on Fenevo. Yes, nailed it. Um, just bringing you a little status update on the base and the building and the things and the rest. So, I've built, of made, I laid a floor. And I think it's pretty nice. It will be even nicer when the um, wall of lava comes around. Then the indicator lights. I bet they look pretty... Um, how do I say it? Well thought out by now. And... There. Once there's an actual ceiling for this room, when the lights turn off it will be a lot more visible than it is now. But if it's this dark, this basically means that you can't use the furnace until you flip the lever. So yeah, awesome times. Um, also, this is going to be where all my portals are going to be at. Going to be. Um, it's all basically just connecting to the same hub, but I like it to have four portals because then it would be... Um, what's the word for that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my words, I can't find them. Uh, you know, the, 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 the word uh, you use when you try to say that something is... Stop crying. When something is equal on all sides. Let's just say equality. Um, I've also hired Mr. Pig to do some digging for me. Which also gave me the... Oh, that's right, he opened this up a little bit. And one time a poison spider jumped at me. And that would be... Well, luckily it went well. <laughs> but I did get quite a scare from it. So he's going to dig everything down to layer 49, I think, or 47. 40 something. <clears throat> and he's gonna get paid uh, for it, of course. But, um, customer confidentially. Conf conf whatever. I don't tell. I don't say what I'm paying him. It is fair, though. Also, another thing I've been doing is building my nether tunnel, because woohoo, I finally have a furnace that's worthy of using. And here it is. Uh, I'll show you what this is for in a bit. Or, I'll just show you right now. Automatic movement. How awesome. No, 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 no. Make way. I love this. You can just, if you press forward, you can ignore collision, although you do get slowed down to a crawl. Which does suck, but uh, it's better than being uh, pushed the uh, other way. What I'm trying to say is it's better. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, stone went into this. And it just keeps going, and going, and going. And the reason I left this at a too high is because it goes over another fortress. Which means that if I leave this at 3 high, wither skeletons could spawn in and they would wreck your day. So until I've slapped the place that's going to stay too high. Um, just imagine how much stone I've used for this. And I'm only halfway. This is where I've finished up till now. And, okay. It still continues for quite a bit. But today is not to show you what I've... Uh, or rather, the entire episode is not for me to show you what I've done, but what I'm still gonna do. And Oh, oh, oh left the hole. Let's just fill that up quickly. Or let's ignore it. What I wanted to do is pull some shenanigans on somebody and also mm, talk about goals. See, you may think me the kind of person that's going to blow up the entire server one day, and it might be true, but it's not gonna happen for 
at least two weeks. <laughs> no, what I am planning to do is <coughs> turn the server, turn it up, make the server very lively, and uh, by that I mean I want to host a bunch of events, do a bunch of stuff, and in general pretty it up. Um, but for that to happen I want to get set up first and I want to do it well. So that's why it's gonna be taking so long. And when I say set up I mean I want to have finished my base, I want to have finished my tunnel. Um, but yeah, this episode isn't about my base either. Or the goals. Or your goals. Or my Dovermaster's secret agenda to take over everything. You did not hear that from me. Um, what this episode is about, or what we are going to do in the server, is work on the mega build. I wonder if I've already told you about it, but uh, a bunch of us are working on a giant medieval... Was it medieval? At any rate, we are building a town at a, at an undisclosed location that I am going to disclose. When we get there, when we get there, no worries. Um, and I am um, in charge of building that. The uh, no, not it all, just the harbor or the docks or whatever the ships stop at. And I've already built a ship because that's where you are going to be arriving from. The the portal will be on that ship, but we're not at that point yet. What I am going to be building is a lighthouse. I've been experimenting with uh, uh, some daylight sensors and some other things. And I have designed a lighthouse that automatically turns on when it gets dark. So yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Um, for now I'm gonna just head back home and prepare and just do it all. And then I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. Okay, welcome back. And I wonder if I've showed you shown you this already. Um I'll just give us quick demonstration. Maybe I have already shown you this, but even if I have, I've made an improvement. So, I'll just show you. Once I get in, I drag a tripwire and that sends me on my way. And then a piston, piston pushes me out from here, but holy crap, though, the minecart was loud. Anyway, the reason I've stopped here is not because um, I want to show you this, although it did just occur to me right now. Well, the reason I stopped here is because I want to show you what the tunnel is going to look like in the end, because it's not going to be plainly like this. Also, I finished the tunnel uh, all the way to the end, so now I, I am connected to the hub by rail track. Awesome, awesome. Um, it also seems that no matter how much FPS I get, Outside of recording, it always drops to a super low level. Must be something in my settings or something. Uh, yeah. So, what I've been planning to do, or what I want to make it look like eventually, is have stairs go to the sides like this. But now it's just not, it's not just the rail cards, but all the sounds are way too loud. Um, let's see. There we go. And where, oh where? Um, are rail cards considered friendly creatures? I know they're entities. Uh, whatever. Friendly creatures are always loud anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna have stairs like this. Uh, not all the way though. Like so, and then have uh, slabs here and there for spawning purposes and some. Uh, relief, relief, who knows how you pronounce it, but depth. And not just stone, but also 
some miscellaneous stuff like this. Just some grass here to give it a bit of a ruins look, but that still is connected to the jungle. Like this. And not just um grass, but also a hint of redstone, but I'll just show you in a bit after I've done this. Where where is it? There we go. Like this and like this. Then we're gonna replace these with stairs. Uh because I say so. Where are they? Two, three, and like that. Okay, now that that's done, I am going to place some glass. Like that. Perfect, perfect. Awesome. Okay, what else? Oh, right, the vines. Like this. Needs to look a bit more ruined. And I'm gonna do the same here. Soul sand. Well, whatever. And one, two, three. Oh, right. More soul sand. Mm -hmm. Victory is mine. Uh, where is it? There it is. Fix, 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 and place. Like this. Okay. Then I'm gonna put some more stairs just to, you know, have consistency. Like this, like that. No, 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 you're doing it wrong. Like that. Okay, this should reduce big man spawning by quite a lot. And. Also have uh, give you a feeling of, you know, broken temple. Also, when you ride past this, I'm gonna make it so that uh, a detector rail um, makes these light up when you pass it. Also, the reason I have redstone is because of this. Uh, around here would be a bad idea. Let's have it like this. Yeah, like this. So there's nature, there's ancient power crystals, also known as redstone. And then there's these lamps. And this is kind of the theme I want to go for throughout the entire tunnel. Of course, this is not going to be cheap, but since the tunnel is already completed, and I always go with uh, function before form, this has a very low priority. But yeah. On to the mega build, which I haven't actually said a lot about. Oh, oh crap. Uh, no. 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 Oh! I see. This makes no sense to me, but okay. This uh, should be fine. Uh, yeah, so the things I... Right, right, about the mega build. Um, it's kind of a project set up by Wordsworth, and we've been making plans to just build it with a bunch of people. And I volunteered to go and build the, the docks or the harbor. I was thinking something like along the lines of the kind of stuff you see in the Assassin's Creed series. However, I'm thinking of relocating everything because um, uh, originally I was going to build along a coast, but 
I was doubting and trying hard to make a decision over which ghost I would take and I just flipped the coin. But now I'm no longer content with that outcome. So I'm going to just um, relocate. The stuff I have to relocate by now is just a giant ship. Originally we were going to have to boulder, bold, boulder <laughs> portal on that ship, but now yeah, we'll see. Welcome to my hub tunnel. You know, I kind of want to have it like this nether theme and then slowly transi uh, transition into what's on the other side, what I just showed you. That may be a cool thing to have. Uh, but yeah. Um, the ship has already been built and I'm going to bake, bake a harbor. <laughs> no, uh, no, make a harbor and docks and stuff. But I also want to build a lighthouse and that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So I've been going on the creative world and you know, developing, not developing, uh, let me think, thinking, thinking while punching, designing, there we go. I've been, or at least trying to, and then I got some help from Sharky Boy, and it went awesome. Like, we've got, uh, we had like, yeah, this is the right one, we had like two uh, designs in the end. Um, we had kind of like a thick one that went slowly smaller, but... Uh, initially, I li really liked that one, but uh, as I looked at it for longer and longer, I started kind of hating it because it it looks like a stump, an an, an, an ugly stump. It it was just too fat for the height it was going to be built at. So the version before that would be a bit thinner. Oh, by the way, here's the ship. I've put my render distance all the way to 16, but I still, my frames still suck, so I'm thinking it's pretty independent and just, I should just put it back up. Uh, let's go for modest 20. Yeah, no change. So yeah, this is the ship. And this is where the captain's quarter would have been, but I think it's a bit small, don't you think? Like, imagine if you were a captain and you'd have your, your desk over here with some windows and your bed, then it's it, it would be too small. So I started thinking from, like, maybe like this, and then you'd have a lot more room to do, you know, store chests, do whatever, and live in here then have like the first mast over here, then second mast over here with huge sails. But I'm kind of glad we I uh, haven't gotten to that yet because I'm gonna relocate this thing. Um, also, um, the, 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 the design for the lighthouse I disliked was built over there. It's really cool. So I just took it out. Um, before that was built, I thought maybe the lighthouse could be over here, but then it'd be a, kind of like a view blocker. So, uh, let's take a small boat. Oh, by the way, this entire project is uh, one, uh, yeah, just a single island. So we can just turn this entire island into a huge city. So far we have volunteers for the town square, which is Sharky Boy's doing, uh, that's where the beacon is coming from. We have the harbor and the docks, which is that ship and uh, still work in progress. Wordsworth helped me with that actually. He knows a lot about it. Um, let's see, and well, in general there hasn't really been that much interest. In, I don't want to crash load world. Hasn't that been that much interest in building it? Which is too bad. And we should be nearly there by now. Uh, should we? Come on, you can do it. World load. Please? 
And there we go. Is this the one with the trees? Is it? No, that's not it. There's just this single island made of sand. And that's why I... Oh, here is it. Yeah, here it is, I mean. Move, squid. And you as well. That's one advantage over not being able to break your boat like that anymore. Okay. Yeah, so this is where I... Okay. So this is where I want to build the world. Um, <laughs> not the world. I mean the new lighthouse. Like, just this little island, and if you just get on top of it, you get a view something like this. Yeah, I've been doing some scouting beforehand. Although, it's probably going to look better once the world has loaded. Yeah, you can do it. Come on. Um, okay, hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, so you get something like a view of this. Uh, just imagine this with, like, a, a new ship anchored over there or something. Then docks over here with something like a wall that protects the city from intruders, which you have to pass. Uh, kind of like airport customs. <laughs> then behind this little piece of rock, I suppose, is it? Yeah, something like that. And maybe there, far off, you see towers sticking out. Something like that. Of course, the lighthouse will be higher than this tree, so you get a better, bigger, bigger, <laughs> better view. Wow, man. Like, my words, they're, they're failing me. So yeah, nothing new there. Uh, and it's night, so I'm scared. Also, talk about being scared. Last time I was here, I got my first death, uh, since the death count is very reset, which would be a few weeks ago, I suppose. I'm proud and sad at the same time, because it was an accident. <laughs> I'm pr I feel pride because I hand held on this long. And it's too bad because I was accidentally killed by Sharky. Um... See, he was typing, and there was a zombie behind him, so I decided to attack the zombie. And then I was dancing around the zombie, so he accidentally hit me with his fire sword. And I almost jumped into the fountain, but that half a second took out my life. Pretty tragic indeed. Still, no harm done. And... Nope, can't see my death counter. Um, uh, yeah, too bad. Anyway, I'm gonna just prepare the stuff and that other things over there and just about everything. And then I will be right back. Okay, so here I am with the map of the island. I got it off of the Dine map. And, well, you can see the shape of the island. It's a pretty interesting one. You can also see the area we've been de deforesting and working upon a bit. And then there's the rest, which is still kind of a wilderness. Most of it is unlit. Kind of dangerous still, but yeah, okay. Then, if you look to the left, you can see that over here, that's where I'm building the lighthouse. And it should give some um, degree of safety from the... Uh, nearby sandbanks uh, because on the right side where the ship is currently at which I will move later on um, the to the right of that ship directly that part is completely underwater so that's mostly safe and then uh, below that I'm not sure what's going on with that but yeah, I might actually make something similar to the lighthouse on the other two islands over there. But while that's done, then I'll move on to the land, which is over here. Uh, just that area is what I'm going to use, because a lot of people are going to work on this project. I hope, or at least they were going to. 
not sure if they're still going to because this is a pretty old project and so far all you see now is all that's been done but yeah I want to kind of kick it off um, so the new highlighted area so I'm gonna be putting um, you know um, the entrance to the town sort of like a customs you know you gotta go and check out your passport is everything safe there's also going to be a warehouse for the for the, the trading ships the merchant ships and then the next area it's directly on the water it's kind of protected by a nice cradle of land so it's pretty cool and safe for I don't know ratings or something pirates there's not a lot of maneuverability room though maneuverability room yeah sure let's go with that um, so what I plan on building there are the actual docks where you can dock your ships and possibly some other things but we'll we'll make that up along the way um yeah that are those are the plans I have on, up, <coughs> up until now <laughs> yeah sometimes words fail me you know it's not something new um yeah that's yeah, yeah, that's about it. I've brought you up to speed with uh, the things I know, and I'm totally not hiding anything from you right now. Mm hmm. Yeah, totally believable. And then I should be done with building the base of the lighthouse by now. So let's check on me. Right. So you place this one here, this one here, this one over here. Oh, hello. Uh, how are you? Seems that you're a bit early. Um, no problem. I'll just finish this and. Well, you can watch if you want. Although, I'm not gonna say a lot. This one there, this one over here. There we go, all finished. Um, so you're wondering what this is, aren't you? Well, I'll explain it to you since it's just now finished. Um, as soon as night falls, this daylight sensor will deactivate these wires. This one will deactivate first. So I'll explain that one first. Um, as soon as this is off, this one will turn on, thus activating this piston, which will complete this circular circuit. Alright, um, not long after this one gets activated, this it's this one's turn, and I just destroyed my way of getting up. Yeah, so when, oh, still need to be down there. So when this one is activated, it will activate this torch, which will deactivate this torch, which will activate that torch and thus send a signal to this piston which acts as a dang it what's it called again a monostable circuit there we go uh, because of that it will send a single tick pulse to this repeater which will activate this newly completed um, circuit and it will circle and circle and circle and circle and circle until day comes again and this circuit gets deactivated which will destroy this block or retract it. Uh, so as soon as the signal will get here, it will stop until night falls again. Hmm. I did a lot better than I expected in explaining. Alright. So then I am going to just complete this, wait until night falls again and show you how it works. Sound good? Alrighty. Okay, so I just ran out of. Oh wait, I can use these. And what else is there? This. You know, for safety. I ran out of torches, which is why I'm using these. These are not permanent. I'm going to reclaim them. Because else it would be a waste. There we go. One more. Where will I put that one? Oh, it's almost time. 
Mm, I think here. Don't miss it. Oh, I missed it. Huh. From a distance, it's a bit laggy. Okay, let's let's go from up close. Oh, by the way, that second platform there is for you to stand on, or you, me, anyone who gets to visit there. Let's go from up close, because then it's a lot smoother. How odd. Oh, okay. Hmm. It should be a lot smoother, although I never did test this on a server before. I pre-created this in single player. Okay, well, let's see what's coming. Yeah. So then you can look over here and... Oh, I did a pretty good job lighting it up, well, except for the middle there. But it's working as intended, and it'll probably work even better when the camera's off because that adds additional lag. It's a shame I won't be able to capture it correctly, but it's 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 something. <laughs> okay. Um. Right, I'm going to prematurely end the episode right here because I have something big planned and I can't tell anyone about it yet, nor can I show any progress on it. Um, yeah, you'll just have to wait and see when the time is there. But for now, I would definitely like to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next episode. Goodbye!